Ken, thanks for joining us. Um, let's start at the start. Another new player, new, new signing through the door. Rodney McDonald's here. Tell us a little bit about him. Yeah, Rodney's at um, Carlisle last year, and he fits what we're looking for. We're, we're hoping he comes in, helps the younger lads. We've got three good centre centre halves. Wanted a bit more experience, and he, Rodney um, fits the bill. Obviously, all these recruitments are, are a process. Uh, what is it that he's got um, in terms of experience and, and the way he plays that you think will work well here? Well, he, he's he's played in over a number of years in, in league football. Um, and obviously his, his age and experience where, where he's been, he's had a, a good career. And as I said, he, he's got a, a lot of attributes what, what will help us in terms of physical and experience and he'll talk and hopefully, hopefully he'll pass on his experience to, to our lads. Now he's the fifth uh, new player through the door. How do you feel that that side of things is going? I know it's not the end of the story, but you, you've got five uh, you know, established players in. Are you, are you pleased with the way that's gone? Yeah, it's, um, I think every, every player what, what has come in, I think it's we, we've been after them and sort of do it at the top of our list. So um, we, we've got the players we wanted. We've done business early, should I say, and we're, we're still looking to add one or two more. And obviously it's a, it's a new team really, isn't it, who's working on that. You've got Josh Kennard, Lincoln Chamberlain involved as well, John Dillon. How's that, how's the dynamics of that working and how how's that come together as a team? Oh, it's, it's really good. It's, it's a, we've got a strategy in place where we, we've got eyes with Glenn and we've got um, Josh with the data and so and obviously we, we got out to, to games towards the end of last year so we're getting more more eyes to watch plays and, and it's, a, it's a good um, recruitment team. And you're all part of that as well aren't you? You'll all be out watching plays where possible of course and, and, and you, you all come together to make those decisions. Yeah, yeah we get sent by Glenn and say what plays and what teams to go and watch and um, when we're not playing and when we've got time we'll all be getting in our cars, heading down the motorway and going to, to a game where, wherever it is. And obviously we, we returned to full-time training uh, last week, just catch up a little bit about that. How do you feel it went, what sort of shape do you think the players are in? Oh, really good shape. The, the, the standards of, we talk about standards a lot, the standards of training, fitness, what they've come back, is it's been really impressive. Um, they obviously kept themselves fit over the summer and they were, it was like a Christmas Day getting ready to start again. I should imagine it wasn't Christmas Day for them when they were doing it. Was <laughs> <laughs> it was good watching it on our side. <laughs> um, no, yeah, they, uh, everyone was excited and can't wait to start and get going again. And um, we, we, As you said, we've got five new faces in the, in the building. Um, we'll get away. Um, we'll go to Loughborough and um, we'll see a different environment and get to know each other and hope they settle in as quickly as possible. Well, tell us a little bit about Loughborough then. Um, obviously, it's uh, a few days away. And what, what do you think you'll, you'll gain from that? Well, we, we just think it's um, team spirit and different environment and not coming to the same place with lads who have been coming for years and years and years and years, the, the younger lads. and um, Hopefully, they get to know a lot about each other and learn, learn about each other and get to know each other, which um, forms relationships which will help them on the pitch. Obviously, pre-season and, and everything, the first team matters have been led by different people now, uh, Alex and, and, and Lee as his assistant. Obviously, you know them for years, you know, you know them inside out, you're a big part of that team as well, but how do you feel that, uh, that they're, they're going with that? What are your impressions of that and the, the characters that they are? Oh, they're obviously two brilliant coaches and um, they, they've took to it brilliantly. Uh, the points they, they make, they put across. Every, everyone knows the, the roles, the jobs, and um, Belly is very intense at times, which is, which is good. I think the players love it. And um, obviously, it's a, it was a couple of weeks before the end of the season. Uh, you, you could see everyone get a, a buzz about a, a change, and when when new management come come in, you have a little buzz. But I'm, I'm, it's going to carry on to going into the season, which will be good. Obviously, the, um, the three of you are all quite different characters, aren't you? You mentioned that how intense Lee can be uh, out on the training pitch. Uh, Alex, to, to me, seems very organised, sensible, decisive. Obviously, you've worked with the players yourself for, for a few years now. Do you think the, the three of you have got those ingredients to make a good, a good management team together? Yeah, you, you don't want someone who <laughs> with all the same strengths. We've all got different strengths, and um, I'm sure we're... We've, as you said, we've been working together for years and years and years. We know each other's strengths and um, weaknesses, and 
one or two might not say they've got some work. We all, we all have, and um, yeah, I think we, we work well together, we have good relationships, and we know how each other work. So what does this, what, this week hold for you? What's the, the schedule this week building into the, the first game at Nantwich? Well, we'll be in every day. We'll be training twice a, twice a day tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and then twice on Friday, and then playing, obviously, the, the game on, a, on the Saturday, which, um, again, it'll be... It'll be good to see him, um, the new faces, and um, I'm sure that all the lads are looking forward to, to getting to play games again. I know the early games in particular are just about getting into condition. Um, so the sound of the training twice on Friday, they might be a little bit tired. That's part of it, though, is it? Just getting through. Yeah, well, they'll ease down towards when I say twice. It'll be sort of set pieces, and it will be it won't be much in, in the afternoon. So they'll be, they'll be doing stuff, and um, again, it'll be. Or it could be tactical, it could be whatever, but it won't be as intense on the Friday as it will be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, and obviously, you're just coming into your 345th uh, season as a, uh, in football. Do you, still, <laughs> do you still get excited about it? I mean, you know, you've had so many years as a player and, and, and now as part of it as a management team. You, you genuinely you have a short rest. Are you really looking forward to it? Yeah, you come towards the uh, end of a tough season, a uh, hard season, and well, not not a very enjoyable one, should I say, because of of, of results. But you, you come towards the end of the season, and you can't probably wait to to get a break. And you have that break, you have a couple of days off, and then you you're thinking, oh, I want the buzz of a Saturday game again. So yeah, you, you come to that at the end of the season, then after a week or so, you're like kind of itching to get back. And then once you once the first day comes, yeah looking forward to it. And you're looking what it's going to be like, how we're going to do, and what players are coming in, and the whole whole thing about being in football, really. And then you're speaking about the games coming. Obviously, we learned about the fixtures uh, last week. Um, anything particular stand out? I know you, you basically play everyone twice, but there's, there's some there's some juicy ones, isn't there? Obviously, watched Delaware to start with, uh, Stockport on uh, early Christmas period, and, and Tranmere as well. There's, there's, some, there's some good fixtures coming up. Yeah, there's some good. Obviously, with the, the the size of some of the clubs in the in the league are completely below, and the massive games is obviously your, your Stockport who have to come up who. We'll be probably looking to go again, and uh, there's there's going to be a number of clubs who who are thinking along the same lines, and we're one of them. So there's there's not a, a certain fixture right you look forward to more than others. Probably Rochdale because it's a it's a first one that's coming at the start of the season. So you summing it up, are you pleased with where where everything's at the moment? Five players through the door, still in the, still in June, and, and obviously just coming into the schedule of the, the friendlies. Is, that's, a good point to be at. Yeah, we. I think we're in a good place, and um, you can see everyone walking around with a smile on their faces. And I, again, I'll go back to we, we just can't wait to, to start, and uh, they're getting we're getting them as fit as they, they possibly can be without trying to without them breaking down, and um, we're pushing them. And if you if you walk past anyone and they haven't got a smile on, because they're absolutely knackered. <laughs> so, 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 so you have a conversation with one or two of the lads, that I'm sure they're, they're absolutely loving it, but obviously it's, it's hard work, but hard work will pay in the end.